few weeks ago I had a request to make a video about what's in my design toolkit. So all of the things that I use throughout my design process. In my last design video I talked about what design software I use for different types of design and today I'm basically going to talk about everything else. I'm going to go into what computer equipment I use, handy apps and plugins and analog stuff as well. So let's get into it. I think I'm going to start with the analog stuff first because every web project that I work on I always start on paper first to draw out some wireframes and get out all my ideas for different ways I could arrange the information before moving on to the computer. And for that I honestly just like to use regular old printer paper and a black ink pen. A lot of people sketch using sharpies but I don't like doing that because I'm terrible at drawing and when I sketch with a sharpie it all sort of like runs together I think because I draw too small, I don't know. So a black ink pen like this is great for me. This is the Artline 200 0 0.4 nib pen and I've talked about it a lot because these are my favourite pens to draw and write with. When I'm doing hand lettering I do like to use a proper sketchbook just because the pages are a bit thicker and they're a bit nicer to draw on but when I'm just sketching wireframes I find it really good just to use cheap printer paper because that way I can sketch lots of ideas and be as messy as I like without worrying about wasting the nice paper in my sketchbook if that makes sense. And if you're interested in what I use for hand lettering specifically like all the pens and pencils and other things for that then I have done a separate video on that which I will leave a link to down below and on one of those little card things on the screen somewhere wherever they end up. The computer that I use to design on is a 13 inch MacBook Retina Pro is that what it's called? And as you can see I've stuck some stickers on it from work which I thought were cute. When I'm in the office I plug into a 27 inch Thunderbolt display as well. I think this way of working is pretty perfect because it means that your work is portable but you can still have a nice big screen and it also means you can check out what your designs look like on both retina and non-retina screens. And I just use the regular Apple mouse, no fancy drawing tablet or anything like that although I have been wanting to get one of those external trackpad things so that might come next. Aside from the actual design software that I talked all about in my last video which will be linked below or on a card, there's a few handy apps and sites that I use to go along with my process. I use a website called TinyPNG to compress my PNG images and an app called ImageOptim which does the same for JPEGs. I use these because when you're exporting assets for a website you want them to be as small as possible without losing the quality of the image because that way the site is going to load faster so these two services help you do that. I tend not to download that many new fonts these days but when I do want a new font the first place I head to is $10 fonts which is a New Zealand type foundry online and as you can tell from the name they have a range of really good value fonts. The Lost Type Co-op is another one that I head to to check out. A lot of the fonts on there are quite overused these days because they got quite popular but there are definitely still a few gems in there and on there you can actually download fonts for free for personal use if you type in zero dollars but it is nice to give them a couple of dollars for a font that you're downloading. Another handy site is the Noun Project for icons. There's a lot on there that you can use for free just by crediting the designer or some of the icons are in the public domain so you can just use them without credit at all and you can also buy them for commercial use so there's lots of different options and loads of different icons on there. Something I would definitely recommend doing is investing in a good icon set like Pictos for example is one that we use at work that I really love. I use them a lot, they're such a time saver and they're really good quality and good to work with. A Photoshop plugin I recommend you download that I've recommended many a time before but some of you may be new and haven't heard me talk about it yet and that is Guide Guide. It's a plugin that helps you create grids and guides and work with them in Photoshop in a really easy way and I honestly don't think I could use Photoshop without it now so definitely check that out. The last couple of things I want to mention are apps that I have on my phone. Now because I design websites it's really important for me to be thinking about what the website will look like on a mobile and of course the best way to do that is to look at my designs on a phone. When I designed websites in Photoshop I used an app called Scala or Scala, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it but it's an app that connects your phone to your computer and it shows the Photoshop file you're working on on your phone so you can scroll around with it and check out how things are working on that little screen. And now that I design websites in Sketch I use an app called Sketch Connect to do the same thing. Both of these apps live update so when you make a change in your file on the computer it will show on your phone so it's a really great way of working and making sure that 
the website you're designing is looking good on your phone. So those are the main things in my imaginary design toolkit. I hope you enjoyed hearing about them. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did. And if you like anything explained further or if you've got questions about stuff, then please don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comments. We can have a chat about things. If you're a designer or studying design or whatever, I'd love to hear what are some things in your toolkit that maybe I should be checking out. So please leave them down below as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.